Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So website notifications can be useful, where they can help you to stay up to date with your favorite websites and web apps as an example. But although they can be useful, they can also be used to spam you with messages that can be unwanted or even misleading, as many of you may know. Now, because of this, Microsoft has recently announced on the 6th of July that back in May of this year, they have made changes uh, to the Edge web browser to help um, avoid these spammy messages and, as they say, it increase your peace of mind if you are using the Microsoft Edge web browser. Now, uh, in this announcement, Microsoft um, showed us two examples of spammy messages, as they are calling them. And this is the first. And this is an example of misleading notification requests sent by a scam site. In this example, Microsoft says uh, it's been used to deceive a customer, for example, asking the user to click allow to prove that they are not a robot. Now, what they say with this update back in May is that Edge now blocks these requests from un unfamiliar sites to protect um, users of the browser. And this is another example of a fake warning notification sent by a scam site after receiving permission. So if we head back to the previous uh, example, if you click on allow in this um, spammy message and the spam message, then obviously then it starts sending you these fake warning notification and, and that's what we call spam and that can be misleading and cause a whole lot of concern for a whole lot of users and can just outright annoying as well as many of you may know. Now as we can see from the two examples given um, sites intending to spam visitors will try to trick you to allow these notifications uh, trying to get permissions to show spammy notifications as mentioned. Now this is what the change Microsoft made back in May is all about. And that was in Edge version 113. We are currently on Edge version 114, as many of you may know. Now, they say back with Microsoft Edge 113 in May, and they took an important step to prevent misleading notifications. And what will happen now, if we go to another screenshot provided from that announcement, they say in the browser, the first notification now and request will be shown quietly with a more subtle message in the address bar when the notification comes from an unfamiliar site. And because of this, and Microsoft says they've actually seen a significant decrease uh, in customers reporting issues with notifications after releasing this change. And that change is obviously um, the first notification request will be shown quietly with a more subtle message in the address bar, as mentioned. And as we can see now that Microsoft says notifications will still work if you have already accepted them. So if you click on allow, obviously um, you accept that notification and you can accept notifications from sites you and others visit often. So obviously those are trusted sites and obviously the sites you don't trust and you get notifications, you can obviously manage and you can, and the browser will also block those notifications. So that's just a quick update video. If you are using Edge, um, I thought it may be useful if you are using the browser and that's um, Microsoft now. So they are fighting notification spam. Uh, in the Edge browser, starting in Edge version 113 back in May. And as mentioned, we are currently on Edge version 114, soon to be upgraded to Edge version 115. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.